This clown has many faces. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 alternate versions of the Joker. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the best alternative versions of the Joker. Whether a completely different person or set in a unique time period, these are not your typical incarnations of the iconic villain. Spoilers related to the Joker's backstories will be included. Number 10, Dick Grayson Joker. Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns focused on an aged and rather harsh version of Batman. Released many years later, The Dark Knight Strikes Again continued Miller's storyline by introducing a newer model of the Joker, this time played by Dick Grayson. After a personal tragedy, Bruce Wayne took over as Grayson's guardian but discarded the boy for being weak leaving a mentally scarred Robin to seek revenge by allowing Luther to experiment on him. With a lust for blood that cannot be satiated, Grayson's Joker is beyond brutal and a product of Batman's earlier mistakes. Number 9, The Hyena. Once in a while, DC and Marvel can play nice. Ever wondered what would happen if Batman and Wolverine performed the fusion dance? Well, Dark Claw would be the end result. As a hero is nothing without a worthy villain, Sabretooth, Harley Quinn, and the Joker received the same Weapon X treatment, leading to the birth of a homicidal killing machine called the Hyena. Obsessed with destroying Darkclaw, the Hyena looks exactly like Sabretooth, just with the Joker's head transplanted onto Kree's shoulders. Number 8, The Laughing Man. Paying homage to those who inspired the Joker while reimagining the beloved villain in a new and terrifying light. Based on the German Expressionist movement popularized during the 1920s, Batman Nosferatu sees Bruce Wayne investigating the psychopathic Dr. Arkham, who is attempting to entertain Metropolis's elite by creating life. Arkham's most popular creation is known as the Laughing Man, a haunting mishmash of machinery and body parts with the Joker's iconic grin slapped on for good measure. The Laughing Man is probably a reference to the character of Gwynplaine from 1928's The Man Who Laughs. Number 7, King Cobra Joker. DC's iconic antagonist is dangerous enough without the added benefits of a mutagen. Due to the Wayward Portal, the Turtles and Splinter are teleported to Gotham and end up working alongside Batman. Unfortunately, Shredder also hitched a ride, and after stealing some mutagen from Casey Jones, heads to Arkham to share his wealth with the prisoners. Shredder mutates most of Batman's rogue gallery, but King Cobra Joker easily takes the cake. Even though the villain plays only a small role in the story, the Joker's amazing introduction and animalistic design were handled perfectly. Number 6, Bianca Steeplechase. No matter the decade, Gotham cannot seem to exist without the Joker. Set in an alternative reality, Batman's thrill killer sees Batgirl and Robin going up against a female Joker in the 1960s. A charismatic gang leader with the hots for Harley Quinn, Bianca Steeplechase shares many aesthetic similarities to the main timeline's Joker although this version's criminal plans tend to take a more subtle approach. With poison as the villain's weapon of choice, Bianca uses her feminine charms to manipulate gullible men and boy wonders. Number 5, Sinestro Joker. The Batman comic in Darkest Night asks a simple question. What if Bruce Wayne received Green Lantern's ring instead of Hal Jordan? In this timeline, after making enemies with Bruce, Sinestro arrives in Gotham and melds his mind with Joe Chill's consciousness sending him over the deep end of insanity and creating a truly terrifying hybrid of Joker's madness with Sinestro's power. Draped in a purple suit and bow tie, Joker's deranged smile really brings out the worst in Green Lantern's arch nemesis. Number 4, Emperor Joker. With great power comes a great deal of mischief. Emperor Joker sees Batman's arch enemy stealing all of Mr. Mitsuspitalik's godlike powers, allowing Mr. J to reshape the world beyond recognition. In this reality, the heroes and villains have traded places, with Superman being the worst of the lot and Bizarro serving as a beacon of hope. Unsurprisingly, Joker saved the worst for Batbrain, locking Bruce in a seemingly unending cycle of torture, death, and resurrection. If nothing else, the Emperor's new clothes are worth the price of admission. Number 3, The Batman Who Laughs. In general, Batman and the Joker are two sides of the same coin. But the line separating these two arch enemies was erased in DC's Dark Knight's Metal story arc. Hailing from the dark multiverse, the Batman Who Laughs represents a Bruce Wayne driven insane by the Joker. Accompanied by Jokerized Robins and six other evil renditions of the Caped Crusader, the Batman Who Laughs combines the Dark Knight's intelligence and physical strength with Joker's manic carelessness. Freed from rational thought, the Batman Who Laughs is a match made in comic book hell. Number 2, Martha Kane as Joker. 
People grieve in different ways. Thankfully, most handle it better than Martha Kane. Due to The Flash going back in time and changing history, Joe Chill ends up shooting Bruce instead of Thomas and Martha Wayne. Traumatized by the loss of their child, Bruce's father takes up the mantle of Batman while Martha goes in the opposite direction. <laughs> Teaming up with Flashpoint's version of Harley Quinn, Bruce's mother descends into a life of crime and murder. Just as insane as the normal Joker, if not more so, Martha's chaotic actions are fueled by depression and loss rather than a strange fixation with Batman. Number 1. Lord of the Vampires it takes a particularly special villain to one-up the King of Vampires. A sequel to 1991's Red Rain, Batman Bloodstorm sees the Joker gaining control of the vampires left over from Dracula's reign, while Batman struggles to keep his own bloodlust in check. Fashioned in a chic gothic hat, Mr. J pushes the Dark Knight to the edge of sanity by turning Gotham's crime families and Selina Kyle into creatures of the night. Besides literally commanding an army of vampires, Bloodstorm's Joker is arguably the closest the villain has ever come to defeating Batman. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.